What's good, friends? We're back uh, with FPL Sunday, and X we decided to bring Star, which is not what I was hoping for. Pretty hyped for the John Yu game, which should be in one hour. I feel like they waited for me because I just got ready brushing. Like I just brushed my teeth and I came back and this game started. I'm not sure if there's any other game going on. Let me check. Let me check. So this is the standard star. At least maybe I brought a like different star. The standard star is boring. Let me see if we still can have a way to break this. As he, I mean he gets a nice burn turn one which is nice so X-Ray has to waste a heal ball. That is something, I guess. I mean, usually I want X-Ray to win, but not with this type of team. So yeah, Freestyle King has no way to get rid of the burn on his Toxic Packs. As uh, X-Ray is obviously going over cover here. I see, oh, he doesn't have a double, but he was making an aggressive play. Predicting the potential Tangros or some other switch there. Maybe predicting something that would beat the Chansey. I'm not sure why Double Willow is. Like, Recover is pretty free there. My man Evan joined. I don't think he's gonna be interested in recording this. Like, he joined the, the Smoke to server. Let me see if there's any other game that's worth to watch. There's no other SPL game. Yeah, we're, we're recording this. I don't care if it's all. Nah, Heligo is here. I mean, doesn't Sable have beat Nahiligo? I guess he can just go to Chansey. This could be Star Fox, but I don't think it is. I think the Lando is the rocker. I mean, he has three potential rockers, but Lando is the one that's most likely the rocker. So the, the katana would make sense to be Z move. You could also like these three could be Z move, but I think it would be the katana. Dactree is nice in this game for X ray to uh, beat the Metagross after you get some chip on that. It can also beat the Toxapex because that it's burned, so it will die to um, two earthquakes. Because usually it's not like Dagger doesn't beat Toxapex all the time. Usually, I think earthquake is a roll to two it KO. I think Toxapex even avoids the two it KO. Like some some oh, extra just deceit. Yeah, that's what you get when you use stall. Just kidding, just kidding. I mean some sometimes Toxabex beats Dougie one v one. Like you have to screech with Dougie and then you have to like avoid a skull burn. And then if Toxabex is max defense and at full I think it can still live. I think it can still live. He went for Power Gym, got a crit. Which is like nice for freestyle King. Like he doesn't have the best way to break the sable. Like what he has to do Like what he has to do is like waste all the recovers. So I guess he's just keep He's gonna keep attacking, but there's a Dougie in the back which can also trap this. But not that not that this is a threat to X ray. He can just go to Chansey every time. Yeah, there he goes to Chansey. We will see if this, this is probably Scarf and Hilligo, but in case he's not Scarf, he could get up rocks here, so at least we had rocks on both sides. Damn, what is this joke? That's rude, hello? Oh yeah, by the way, um, yeah. I think the, the, the Eternal Spirit game is gonna get recreated. Eternal time to last yesterday. I recorded at the beginning, but it was like really not interesting to watch because you did see it every few minutes. Like, a few times he made one play and he just deceived five minutes later he came back with one play. And eventually his opponent had to leave and they, like he timed out, so like they turned the time back on. I think it's gonna get recreated. So yeah, X just throws up the rocks and this if this is Z move Landers with SD it's nice for a freestyle king, but I think it's the rocker. I mean it could still be the rocker with SD and just two attacks without double dance, but I think it's just defensive Lando. Unless like it just makes sense that it's an illegal scarf, this is the defensive rocker. And this is the Z move. 
but you never know. Yeah, I mean, going for Rockstar was definitely the right play, like NJMP says, because, like, Sableye is low, Sableye cannot switch, it. I mean, it's not low, but Sableye is burned, and you don't want to go hard Sableye there on a potential Earthquake, and also, even if you go Sableye there, you take burn damage, and the rocks are already up on Freestyle King's side, so it's not like they get bounced back. So he gets the Metagross in, Clefable got off the heal bell, so the Sableye is burned, is healed now, so X-Ray switching is now the Skarmory here. Which Freestyle King already predicted by going for T-Punch. I'm pretty sure that he won't leave this Club Fable in. There's no way Little Expert stays in. Like, I'm kind of tired of people spamming this team already. <laughs> it's getting a bit annoying. Porsche said this gets a kill stalled so bad. I mean, Skarmory... Actually, Skarmory takes a lot with Rock Thub. Uh, you're right. Skarmory takes a lot, like... Damn, shots fired. I mean, he's probably just joking, but that's... F I think Skarmory takes around 40-ish from T-Punch, a little bit more, so it might even be 2-hit carried after rocks. Might be, it's probably a roll. But, like, freestyle can always get a crit or para. Like, he can go for Mash and Fish for the boost, I feel it, but... I think T-Punching again is a fun play. Like, this this thing is really a big threat, especially especially now that he got Rocks up. This is like the only thing he really has... And Taki cannot even kill a Metagross. Like, if he's Helmet, if he's Helmet Scammer, he can bring this in range, or he goes Toxic Packs. That doesn't help him. Gets a para there. Goes for Earthquake. And he's just hoping, I think he's just gonna T-Punch now. Okay, went for Earthquake again. He's just fishing for the para. But yeah, just go for T-Punch, dude. The, dam the damage difference is not that big. And in case he switches out, he doesn't get the para. I mean, either once you get the para. So what the expert is trying to do here is maybe get off a Skull Burn or just get off some chip damage with Skull so this gets in range to die from Dougie's Earthquake. This is funny when Toxapex is your Metagross counter. I mean, the Stall team is not kinda weak to Metagross, especially with Rockstar, like I said earlier. Like, Skarmory beats it fine if it doesn't get Paras or doesn't get crits or mash raises and. X ready seed again as Freestyle King brought out his toxic packs, but at least X ray is reconnecting kind of fast. Yesterday, it only took like a few minutes to reconnect. <laughs> this is already the third game I'm recording today. I'm really, I mean, I recorded even more. I think I recorded one game after midnight already, but I mean, after I woke up on the next morning or next day, I mean, it's already 5 p.m. here. But this is the third game basically that I'm recording now, like in the last few hours. So yeah, I'm here for you guys. I'm pumping out that content, that SPL coverage. So you get up a T spike, which means that doesn't mean much. X just can X can just absorb that later on with his toxic packs. Yeah, this is weird. Like like we came as Roman says, a weaker. Yeah, he would have gone parrot eventually. Like he could have just kept spamming Thunder Punch with the Metagross. I understand that you don't want to get put into Dougie range with from from a Scald, but yeah, or you don't want to get Scald burn. Like, okay, Xray keeps the seeing. Like Xray was on the defensive side. Like, if you're on the defensive, tr you will get parrot or crit eventually. Like we kind of says here. Also, switching out the Metagross just makes you take another round of rocks later on. And if you keep taking rocks, you will be eventually wrenched from Ducky. I think Ducky's Earthquake does around 70%. I can calc it real quick for you guys since there's um, not much going on in x ray seed. Uh, let me calc it real quick. So we have Chansey out with this Toxic Pex now. Yeah, he has nothing burned, so he can, he can either go for a Seismic Toss. 
Oh, you can just go for a softball here. But yeah, let's just call it Metagross versus Dougie. Don't really feel like pausing the video now since I'm on OBS. And I would have to cut it together and make another recording if I pause it now. Like, I would have to end the recording, make a new one, and put them in one. Put them together later on. Metagross versus Duck Trio, Focus Sash, Trapper. I've got this uh, 36 to 75, which shows that Metagross is super bulky. Like, um, Duck Trio got an attack boost, so it's base 100 now in Sun Moon, but it's still only the 63 to 75. But yeah, I was about to say, I feel like he came back and he did come back. So what happened there? He just see it again already, so we have time to... Okay, he's back. We just drew the Toxic Packs and the Landers on the Seismic Toss, and did he get helmet damage? He didn't get helmet damage on the Chansey. And then he went for U-turn on the Skarmory. Brought a hell ago and just went for Power Jam. So he gets a crit there, so he's just fishing for Paras or crits, I guess. Really hope X-Ray won't DC again because this is already gonna take long enough with his stall team. He's just gonna go for softball here to keep his chance here healthy. Metagross comes back in. So he's at 89%. So he takes 6% from rocks every time, which means if he seismic tosses this, if he seismic tosses this, he's in range to die from from Ducky's Earthquake. Also, if he gets the boost here, I think he can just destroy x-ray he can destroy x-ray really bad if he would have gotten the boost there but he doesn't get it I mean at least he's wasting like x-ray is wasting recovers he only has 9 left so that's nice for freestyle king like 75 is a max roll so Metagross is at 83 after rocks. So he has to come in. If he comes in three more times on rocks, there will be a roll to die from Earthquake. I mean, if he's Bullet Punch, he gets rid of the Shut Shut. Shut Shut doesn't matter this game. I'm not sure if Xray wants to defog here. I feel like defogging is a fine play for Xray because you kind of want to keep hazards off if you're the stall player. And now that he got um, rid of the, the burn on Sableye, he can potentially bring Sableye. If he's defensive Sableye, he can bring Sableye in on Landers and prevent Freestyle King from getting rocks up. Or he can just play aggressive and like never go. He can just like predict Freestyle King to go for Earthquake, predicting the Sableye, or to go for U turn later on and just not go Sableye. Which is always an option. Yeah, he makes a defog play that was expecting. I feel like we're just gonna see um, a switch in the toxic packs from X-Ray here. And I feel like a double into Metagross is a good play or... Okay, okay, never mind. He just risks his camera getting burned. I don't know if I agree with that play. I guess it, I guess it's fine because he gets some health back. He didn't get burned there. He gets burned on his chance, you know, I mean, this is natural cure, but still. Every chip damage on this is nice. This doesn't have leftovers. And it only has... Oh, it hasn't used any heal builds. Oh yeah, Fable has heal in my bad. So he just gets the rocks back up. Uh, freestyle can predict him to go Sable. As I said, you just don't go Sable and you make... Oh my god, stunned it on. I mean, this play was kind of obvious. You just don't go Sable first and then you go Sable I feel like that play was a bit obvious. But yeah, I guess we'll, I guess we'll play by X3. That players make that play sometimes too. I also did that play once when I used stall. But yeah, thankfully I haven't used stall in a few weeks. I'm glad I got away from that play style. I'm not sure. Like, if I would use stall in the life, I would probably get nice juicy dislikes. Like, I honestly don't enjoy this stall team anymore. Like, or if I would use a stall team, I would at least try to make... Come up with something creative. Shout out to ABR. <laughs> So this guy, this chance he doesn't want to use a violet, obviously. So you just go, you either go toxic but you also don't. Now you just go make it. You just go Sableye if you're X-ray. You don't want to lose an item on anything. I feel like, I mean, you you can go Skarmory too, but I feel Sableye is just fine. 
I mean, you, you want to keep the Sableye healthy, so Freestyle King doesn't get rocks with this Lando. So you can switch to Sableye in another Lando, but... Going Sableye should be fine. It would be nice if you could play a bit faster, my friends. I don't want to sit here forever. I um, really hope there's no other game starting pretty soon, because... I'd rather not record two games at once. Yeah, it makes the Sable I play like I expected. Now Heligo doesn't really do anything here. Just took took a round of rocks and now he just goes back into Chansey or Tox he just goes Toxapex here. Like you don't want to waste any recovers on your Sable. You already wasted four. I mean you also don't want to let this get burned if you freestyle a king, I feel like. So what do you even do here if you freestyle a king? I mean X Bay can stay in if he wants to. But I feel like going Pex is just a fine play. And yeah, what was Freestyle King gonna do here? Oh, he goes Chansey, that also works. I guess if Freestyle King just wanted damage and waste more recovers on Sableye, going for potential will always dodge there, maybe. Oh, he knew he wouldn't go for will since Freestyle King has a Toxic Pex in the back that is already burned, maybe. So as long as X-Ray can keep the... Actually, yeah, Freestyle King doesn't have hazard control, yeah. So as long as X-Ray can keep the rocks off his off on his side of the field is in a really good position and I don't see how Freestyle King can win like keeping rocks off for X-Ray is key so Ducky keeps the sash and can always revenge kill Metagross even if it has bullet punch and gets a met gets a, even if the Metagross gets a medium mesh raise and has bullet punch Ducky can always revenge it 100% guaranteed like 100% like ensured X-Ray has nothing to fear with the sash intact and he's just gonna go back into Sableye or Skarmory. This is just repetitive. Yeah. Goes for Leaf Storm trying to catch the Sableye. Nice play going Skarmory and I feel like you just roost here if you X-Ray to keep this healthy. If he has Spikes on this, he could, that would also be an option, but I think you just roost. Like you see Spikes sometimes on this set, but Defog roost Spikes. And the last move would have to be Counter, that's a bit of an odd set. Most Skarmory have to run Counter to check to like be able to revenge, like kill Metagross when I get T-punched on that turn or to like kill Pinsir, because Pinsir is also a threat to this team Pinsir is a huge threat to this team, good god like if you have like a knockoff mon paired with Magnazone that knocks off the Shed Shell and then you trap the Skarmory, Pinsir kind of th runs through this team so nice play doubling into Metagross and now he has to go for the Mash Wraith or for the Para or for the Crit, he gets the Para so, this is decent for Freestyle King, he actually has a chance, his uh, Metagross is still out of range to die, um, okay, X-Ray will get paralyzed eventually, this is a winning, this is not a, X-Ray is playing losing game here, I feel like if you, if he went for counter there, he would have brought the Metagross down, like, I think the Metagross would have died, or would have been super low if he went for counter there, May I guess that was not the play, because he could have gone for mash again there. But this is just like X Ray is in a losing position. You know, no matter what he does, I mean, counter would have worked out, but I guess it was too risky for X Ray. But if he keeps spamming roost, he's just playing with fire. But that's, but that's just what you have to do with Metagross when he gets Paras. It's not like Stall has the best answers for this mon. He, yeah, he makes the counter play there, yeah, doesn't get paralyzed, and I feel like this game is just over. Like Metagross was like the biggest threat to to X Ray. Like Katana? No, 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 Katana can potentially Katana can potentially win this game for Freestyle King. So let's not let's not speak too soon. That's yeah, that's what Get His Money also said. Can he scam for Katana? But I don't really know. I don't think X had another play because if he kept roosting and he would have gotten paralyzed eventually. I mean, yeah, Katana puts in work now, so let's not speak too soon. But I w I wouldn't say Katana straight up wins. I mean, the Toxapex is paralyzed, so the Katana has a good chance to beat that 1v1 with the SD. And. Yeah, yeah, like XA would have to. Nah, it doesn't. Nah, XA has a duck to you. Katana doesn't win. Katana doesn't win now. Like, he, he has a. He has a duck trio which um, always lifts a hit from Katana and can go for reversal and revenge it. I mean, I don't want to like type anything in the chat and be like, 
because it could be considered ghosting but it's not really ghosting x we know that stuff like Dougie's still having the the sash intact is huge like even if Cortana gets out of hand the Dougie can just always revenge um Dougie is base 123rd at speeds Cortana and is it Scarf? But Scarf Katana would not be a threat. I mean, the Heligo just gives X ray a free switch in the Toxapex of Chansey. You cannot. Like, I really don't see how freestyling can win. Like, people were saying Katana wins, but. Goes in the cleft, wow. I mean, I feel like this is Scarf, so you can throw up a wish here. Like, as long as the Dougie has the session intact, I don't see how Katana can win. Sabella also is at fault, so Katana would have to SD up to kill that. So when left, my dude Haven left, people not interested in this game, I guess. I mean, X-Ray should just have this game in a bag. I, I, can, I can just repeat myself, but like, I, I said this before, like multiple times in other videos. Don't like that Dougie still know you. If the Dougie was not on the stall team, like Atana kind of just won now. Like you still have some ways to like check it, but it was really really hard to for Axel to beat the Cortana. Like you bring the Cortana in on something like Toxapex, which is paralyzed, so Axel would have to not get paralyzed and get a skull point to stop the Cortana. Uh, you, you also bring it on something like Chansey, which runs Toxic, I think, on the stall team. It doesn't run T-Wave. You can also bring it in on Chansey. You can bring it in on a Paralyzed Skarmory. You can bring it in on a Fable. Like, you have so many options if you're freestyle king to set up your Katana. Did he recover there? Wow, he sacked his Toxapex. Yeah, this game is over. I mean, actually, that was a way yeah, that, that was a way to get a katana in, his Katana in without taking damage. As X I think X went for heal because this is not paralyzed anymore. Um yeah he went for heal build there. Oh that's why he brought the Cliff Death Cliff Fable on the Nihiligo to get rid of the Pox and the Scummery Para. So he is the SD, but even if he kills this with like a crit There's a doggy, like I'm not gonna say it in the chat, but I'm kinda tempted to. This does not win people. I mean, if it's timid and gets the speed boost, even then I don't think it can win. Because Dakji will just get brought onto the session kill with reversal. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, let me, let me just show you the cog. Dakji was Cortana. And we say, um, reversal. And let's say the Dougie is at... The Dougie is at 1% health. So reversal will do 111 to 131%, so it always kills Katana. We have the situation here. He went hard into Duck Trio, which is wild, but he can just reversal now. Yep, like I said, going hard into Duck was wild, though. I mean, he knew... He knew that he wasn't Scarf Katana, obviously, because he has the up. So obviously, he did not speed the Duck. If he was Scarf Katana, Toxapex would have beaten it. And yeah, like I said earlier, Duck just always revenges the Katana. I don't know what people were saying that Cartana won. Charles the Dougie being annoying. <laughs> don't be sorry, X-Ray. <laughs> so X-Ray is I'm sure X-Ray is on the Falcons. And his opponent was on the Wi-Fi Wolf pack. So the series is kinda close. It should be 4-3 for the Falcons now. I can understand why you bring Star as a team too. You want your team can make playoffs. But still, 
I hope you guys still enjoyed. This was not the best game, like not the most interesting game. I actually played it how like he just didn't mess up. He just kept rocks off and kept the focus sash. But Dagi and was just able to win with that. And thank you guys for watching. Doku is signing out. I will have a lot more Esper content coming. Just stay tuned for that later, guys.